Hello everybody, my name is Ice Valkyrie and this is uh, part two of Star Ocean Till the End of Time and uh, this is again another um, Let's Play series that I'm doing and it's gonna be new because I'm fresh because of the fact that I don't usually play RPG games on my channel and it's gonna be a long one to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna get right to this and see what's happening here. I don't know if I can actually go anywhere right now. It's kind of a little bit weird. I'm guessing I'm probably just gonna have to try to look over, see if there's any places that I can actually go to. Get some sleep, but apparently, cause you know, you didn't let me do that before. Huzzah! We got tech. I got like these headphone things that sometimes comfortable in my head, but not entirely. And apparently, it's three in the morning. It's three fifty-two. Well, what now? Oh boy. How is your hair still Sounds in the like same place? going please. to make an announcement. This is an update for all refugees. It we sounds so delightful. We know the recent raid on the resort planet Haida was a surprise attack by Van Deen. Van Deen? Aren't they that military power that's currently at war with Aldean? Ha uh ha. -huh. They did turn down the Federation's offer of aid some time ago, but there were no open hostilities. Remote Station 7 mounted an attempt to defend Haida 4, but it was thwarted by a tactical Vendini strike. Currently, the Pangalactic Administration is scrambling ships from surrounding regions, but Vendini forces still have control of this sector. We request that all civilians begin boarding rescue shuttles for immediate evacuation to Remote Station 6. Oh dear. <laughs> Please do not panic. Refer to the nearest console or attendant. Don't for panic. Instructions. Don't panic. Panic! Oh my god. Freaking out. Sophia, we gotta. Yeah, I'm. Fi Hold on just a little longer. We'll be. S okay. Well then. Computer, tell me the present location of Robert and Ryoko Line God. The present location of the specified individuals is unknown. Use this computer. What do you mean, un both Robert Linegod and Ryoko Linegod's positions were lost on Galactic Year 7... Se lost? The information system is currently... Ex confirmation is not... Oh, that's very what? helpful. What? Oh, no! Kid, your parents are all now. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly save, because we don't know what we're getting ourselves into, and I to find out. Purr. Right, we're going. Okay, I'm gonna check out all the different little places to see what's going on. Cause you never know. There might be some stuff. Always gets the storyline get going too. Hmm. It's like they're not even concerned at all. They're just like, well, we are a traveling circus, so this matter doesn't really concern us. Okay, so I'm gonna check out the other rooms, which are these ones. Talk to these people. They're like, oh, we're okay now. We're not really okay. We're actually in more danger. Hmm. And crazy chick. Alright, next. Talk to 
talk to these folks. They want us to go on those things right away though, I believe. I want to know what's up with that person's, uh... This one. Is this guy okay? stairs here or is it still <laughs> still off limits apparently welcome to the federation transport ship gfss 12372 hellera you must have been through a lot. We will soon be departing for Remote Station 6. The observation bay is located directly through the corridor leading out of this room. Your Please ship wait there until very, we reach our um... destination. <laughs> Gravitic Warp will get us there anyway. shortly. I was gonna say, it's a very creative name, sir. You, uh, you just managed to create a name with numbers that everybody uses for, like, something or another. Oh, that girl looks like him. Is she related to him? Uh-huh. How does this work out? Hey, can I talk to her? Observation bay. Can I just observe everything else? Hey, look, those people are here. I hope you stay alive because I don't know there's a lot of people that are gonna die in this place. What do you mean? Can I go in there? No, of course not. Hope that other guy's okay. He was getting wing problems or something. <clears throat> hey, they're all watching something. Huh? The destruction of their people. You're right. What is that? Something on the monitor? Let's take a look. Okay. Oh no! Oh well, that's it's nice. worse than I thought. This is horrible. Well, it is a war. We are about to enter Gravitic Warp to escape the battle zone. I repeat, we are about to enter. All evacuees, prepare for warp turbulence. Oh dear. And they're just standing casually in a ship, looking at a screen of destruction. Yep. You know, you'd think the enemy would be like, Oh, they're getting away, guys. Let's go after them. Because, you know, reasons. <sighs> were they just See? not on a planet? Or were they in, like, a satellite thing? Because that was just weird. Oh, I woke you up. Sorry. No. It's all right. <clears throat> Where do you think we are now? I wonder. There haven't been any announcements yet. They're keeping it hush hush because they don't want you to know about it. You should it. ask one of the crew. They're like, we have no yeah. idea what to do now. Good idea. This is what problems start. Look at those awesome graphics, guys. PS2 graphics. Okay, so I'm in some kind of lounge. I want to find the guy that was hurt, though. Am 
wonder if I can do that. I'm gonna save this again. Create a new save file, just in case. Okay. Now... Aha! This place is kind of big. go down here though. There's different observation areas. And let's see here. There's a computer, but I can't use that either. Um, hmm. Well, the only other place to go is literally into the next area, so we have to go this way. <clears throat> I'd talk to that guy right away, but honestly I don't want to right at the moment. I'm just gonna try to talk to people that are secondary or third characters that are extras. talk to her yet. Where is our famous chick? Where'd she go? She's right there. Okay, so we're gonna talk to this guy. And talk to the other... Can I go in here? <gasps> I can go in there. That guy's really angry because he couldn't get any answers out. <clears throat> I wonder if I can talk to him. Hmm. Not much we can do there, but we can go see the other lady that was at the end. Maybe she'll tell us more. I'm trying to see though, because there's like more than one um quarter room. I was like, actually able to go in here, but not this one. You can only ever just go back the same way though. Navigator, status report. Aha, Captain. Yes, Captain. We were cruising at warp 15 on course 231, mark 330. When the gravitic warp field... Computer, what caused the ship's warp field to collapse? There is not enough data to determine the cause. I think your system is flawed. All right, even if you can't determine the cause, how about a theory? Prior to the collapse, sensors detected a space-time disturbance. Our data... Space-time disturbance? Come to think of it, Fendini military technology... That is not an established fact. But the Federation Institute of Technology has theorized this is the case. So it was likely a Vendini attack that stopped us then. Wow. Screen on! Oh great, are we on their attack again? Damn! Divert all power to shields! Evasion course to- Course and- 
See, what did I say before? They're gonna, gonna follow us? That's exactly what happened, guys. That's can't believe this shit. The rescue friggin' shields are no match for the likes of that. Wait. We're gonna get captured because that's what's gonna happen. This is your captain. Our ship is currently up. Our Dravidic warp engine has already been disabled. All power has been diverted to our shields to buy us some time. I had hoped to transport you all the way to remote station 6. But it seems all evacuees are requested to proceed to the ship's escape pods. Please remain calm and follow the instructions of the attendant nearest you as you board. And now Good luck to you all. <laughs> we're on our own. We're gonna die. <laughs> Turkeys. A direct hit? Jeez, these freaking ships are really uh... down to 47. Let's get out of here. Right behind me. Oh, oh. Uh, what will become of me? To the pods, everyone. Hurry. Don't panic. Hey, this guy's gonna be over. Run like the wind. We gotta go, Sophia. Okay. Run it. Run it like you just don't care. Can I actually buy anything from this thing? Probably not. We're gonna save it again just in case. I have no idea what we're fighting against. If there is What's going on? Not 
letting us go on. Can I go through here? I don't think I can. Holy jeez. Cause that escape pod looks totally, you know, automatic and everything. Activation complete. Ejection in ten seconds. I have a feeling that it's not gonna go so well. <clears throat> Totally took over that ship. Distress signal operational. Okay. Searching for life supporting planets. Planet? Where? Vanguard 3. Located approximately 0 0.5 light years from present location. Axial tilt of 35 degrees results in extreme seasonal weather. Existence of humanoid life forms confirmed. The Federation has classified Vanguard 3 as an underdeveloped planet. Civilization level approximately equivalent to 16th century Earth. Holy crap. Would you like to review the underdeveloped planet preservation pact? Uh, I guess. Yes. The underdeveloped planet preservation contact with civilizations that have not reached a certain level of development. This is due to the fact that contact with advanced civilizations has a high probability of greatly influencing the course of history on a less developed planet. All individuals and organizations belonging to the Pan-Galactic Federation are required to adhere to the tenets of this pact. This pact is one of the most important components of pa violators will be tried by the pan galactic count how long till we get there at our present speed of warp six arrival is as are there any foreseeable problems in getting to vanguard three no foreseeable problems okay 
I guess I'll get some sleep. Affirmative. Sure, the computer works for the little paws, but it doesn't work for the ship. God. Entering Vanguard 3's gravitational field. Prepare. We're going into unknown territory. Or planet, better yet. Which is apparently based on the 16th century. Hmm. Very old. <laughs> Partially primitive, but you know. And apparently you can't mingle with the locals, which is gonna Here be we weird. Go. So this is Vanguard. Since they haven't contacted me yet, I suppose it'll be a few days before they come. But I better keep an eye out for danger. After all, this is an underdeveloped planet. Hmm? My quad scanner's picking something up. Moving at 40 clicks. Might be an animal. I hope it's not dangerous. Hmm. I should use my replicator to make myself a weapon, just in case. You do that, buddy. A sword would be a good match for this planet's level of development. I don't want to get arrested for violating the UP3. Look at that. Luckily, I've gotten used to this kind of weapon in the battle simulators. Not that I feel very lucky right now. I sure hope I don't end up having to use this thing. You probably will. Yeah. The sun will. I better find someplace safer to stay by nightfall. There's something there. It's picking up humanoids. Based on this reading, I might be able to make it by nightfall. Hmm. Hmm. I know it's a UP3 infringement, but this is an emergency. They'll probably cut me some slack if I keep them. Well then, because you are totally, totally... <laughs> So much stuff. Alright, okay guys, um, I'm gonna cut short there for part two. Anyways, my name's Ice Valkyrie, I will see you next time in the next video. Stay tuned.